Hello, my people. Hello, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Here comes another information, and uh, it's coming from our Prime Minister. He says he's showing something here that uh, the terrorists at Nigerian Army going to war in Biafra land with native and native doctor was decimated. That's something you are seeing the picture here right now. Um, the story behind it is that the native doctor that put this thing against our people has been pied, decimated. And that is Chukwu Kikabiyama at work. At work. When they think we don't know what we are doing, and they try by any means, all the means they know, to come and kill people in their own territory, in their own land, for no just cause, just because of your name or because of your region. Do you think God will watch this to go on for a very long time? They are even very lucky, very, very lucky because this has gone on for a very long time. They've been killing our people without uh, remorse. Now the, the table has been turned back at them. That is how the table has turned. Now the message from Ruth says, We, the BLA and BRF, are 1,000% intact, doing what we know how best to do. We must uphold the integrity of Biafra liberation in all nook and cranny of Biafra territory. No idiot or ant can enter Biafra land and go back. On daily basis, we convert them to mortality. We will use them as manure. That is what Mazen and the Kano said. He said, our own tactics. We have very, very dangerous tactics. We are dragging them to come to the southeast. They are coming with their guns. And when they come, their military, when they come and leave their natives, we turn them to Manu here. And right there, the terrorists take over their villages. You see their mothers crying. I had one video today. Hey, hey they raped me many times. And nobody saying, they raped me many times. You, they raped you many times. Who are the people? Your people, of course. The terrorists from the north. They are the ones raping you people many times. And you don't have government. Because Buhari said before he died that fight against terrorism is fight against the North. And you guys kept quiet, you know, clapping for him because he's from your native too. <laughs> what goes around comes around. I am not laughing at the particular person they raped, but the seed planted already in Nigeria watered and uh, fertilized is the seed of what? Terrorism. And terrorism is about terror. Things that make you to fear. Things that make you not to have a, you know, cool mind. Things that breaks the heart. Terror. And the rape is one of it. Talk about the killings. Talk about the burning of houses. That's Nigeria for you. That is Nigeria for you. And we are thinking this man on ground in Biafra land. Who will not allow flies and ants to pass? A gafe, a manna, you cannot go back. That is our joy, that there are men at work. Ruse and co. God bless you all. Because if we don't have such people like you, I don't know what will be our fate by now. I don't really know. I don't understand what would have been our fate. But I thank God that we have volunteer forces. There is something different between Nigerian army, who are paid army, and volunteer forces. Volunteer forces, whether they see food or not, they manage. Huh? Nobody called them. They decided to come and defend their land. These are volunteer forces, and that is what we have. You can hardly defeat volunteer forces because right from their home, they have decided to die right from time. And they want to fight to finish. And that is it. That is why 
every day we tell you that we are winning this war and people think we are joking. We are not joking. The people that will tell better are the zoological army. They are the ones that will tell the story of what they see whenever they go in Biafra land. But unfortunately, most of them that have tried to kill, to venture, they don't live there free. Either they are in hospital, hospitalized, or dead. And that is our tactics. If you like, go carry native from Aosa or Yoruba, even carry native from our land, go and verify. And you think that native doctor will give you something that will make you to defeat us again in Biafra land? No, it will not happen. Affliction will not rise up the second time. That is why, even with their OG, with their native whatever, like I'm showing you here right now, men, they can't deceive, they cannot defeat their friends. And that is it. So your prayer should be that we will see them before they see us. Your prayer should be that our men will have foresight and never lose guard. Because if they lose guard, one day, they will not only be killed, but we ourselves in that region will be killed. But God will not allow them to lose guard. There are so many things that make men of war, men of valor to lose guard. Stop drug and women. That's the only thing that will make that your protection, that your protection to go off you. That is the advice we are giving the men on ground. The assurance we are giving the women and the children is that God, who is using these men to protect us and with the own supernatural powers that he is using, to turn the minds of your enemies out of your land, is the one that will still protect us. You understand? That your prayer should continue with him. Your heart and faith should continue. Pray for man, say, Nam de Kano. To be released. They want to stampede us. They are holding him. They are looking for someone able to hold. They are looking for who? They are looking for that. Why wouldn't they go to the north and look for the terrorists? Why have you have you asked yourself why is it that they are not looking for the terrorists? But they are looking for beer friends to capture, to destroy, and to hold? That question should tell you that. What we are looking for is our own, and we will continue to look for it, and we will have it. Not just looking for it, we will have it. And that is it, my dear people. I just want you to, please, a pause, to share, and thank God that even the native doctor that came could not go back. He was decimated on all the legu. Is it not a powerful thing happening in Biafra land? That's it. Please thank you very much for your time. God bless you.